Since a lot of you seem to like this topic, I'm gonna be exploring a bit more with GPT-4 and Midjourney V5 and I wanna show you how you can use this to visualize your dream designs, say like a car, clothing or even a backyard. I am gonna do an example of my dream home today and I will look at a couple of techniques you can use to add to your designs, so let's just get going. The first thing I wanna show you is just the overview of my vision of my dream home. So let's just quickly go through this. So on the left here you can see the fjord or the ocean and we have this mountain range in the middle and all the way to the right we have the woods. House is basically like it's we have one entrance in the woods side and we have the main house here hanging up in the mountain side over the fjord. And you can see here is like the entrance with the parking place. We have an entrance, we have a cave hallway. So this is drilled into the mountain. So that's my vision. And inside it we have some house wings, we have a cave bedroom, a bathroom, we have a cave living room and a cave gaming room. I have made images for all of this but we're gonna take a look at them after. And here we have this dock entrance, so we have this staircase going down to the ocean where we have a dock and a boat. And in the main house we have a kitchen, living room, main bathroom and bedroom. So basically this was my vision. Uh, it's probably gonna be a very expensive house. Anyways, let's move over to GPT-4 and take a look. So here we basically did the same as we did in the last video and that is priming GPT-4 to get ready for our task. So you can see we are on GPT-4 here and I just go, hello, I have some information about architecture and mid-journey I will feed you. So hello, I'm happy to help with architecture and mid-journey, that's good. So the, basically the only difference is I fed it some information I found online about how you embed build buildings into rock and natural structures. So basically that's all I did. Uh, you can stop and read this if you want to. You can see here by utilizing and preserving the existing landscape features such as boulders and bedrock, right? That is basically what I wanted to feed it. And all of this is what I fed in the last video, it's basically everything from mid journey. Since I want this to be photos that again is gonna be uh, a lot of examples here of prompts with cameras and photos and camera settings. So I think most of you have seen this. If not, just go watch the other video. Here is something new I fed it. I just wanted to give it some information about the kind of style house I want. So we have interior here. Interior style should be clean, minimalistic, rustic, floor to ceiling windows for maximum view and light. And the view part is stunning Norwegian fjord in sunlight. And the focus is that uh, the photo is just gonna be a sharp focus because you don't have to explain what kind of interior style rustic style is because it knows that from the foundation model right that's just a waste of uh, tokens and space okay so that is good and now we are on to the prompt actually let me just go over the prompt now i want you to act as a professional architect and photographer you will use a rich descriptive language when describing your design and photo prompts including camera setups the first prompt i want you to create is a photo of an extraordinary home skillfully carved into the rock face just one meter away from the serene waters of a Norwegian fjord. Large exterior windows use the same format as provided in the examples above. That was my prompt and we got a, a bit of a long prompt back here so I just went great it's a bit too long. Follow the format in the examples provided. And then I got a prompt that I was much more happy with. Let's just copy that and paste it into mid journey and see what kind of results we get. I'm not gonna change anything with the prompt. I guess the only thing I'm gonna change, uh, I see, is I want the aspect ratio to be 16 by 9 because I think that fits better. So that is the only thing I'm gonna change. Other than that, I'm just keeping it as is. So let's see what we can get back here. And yeah, as you can see here, this was basically exactly what I was looking for. So I was very happy with this prompt. If you take a closer look here, you can clearly see that the house is like embedded into the rock in the mountainside. We get a lot of cool variants. Like, so I just had to pick one. Look at this, how cool this is. I was so happy with this prompt. It's just awesome. Basically, this was what exactly what I was looking If you think like if you can visualize it and you can use GPT-4 to help you write exactly what you want, you could get results like this in pretty much everything you can visualize, right? Let's just take one interior style before we move on to the full house tour. 
So I just followed up with perfect. Now generate your interpretation of a photo of a master living room based on the interior and view given to you. You remember the interior and view. That was something I gave in the information here. You can clearly see it now in the prompt now that GPT takes that into consideration. It goes for this minimalistic rustic style, right? So that is perfect. So let's just copy that, head over to mid journey and run this prompt. So again, we get exactly what we wanted. You can see here like we get the big living room with the floor to ceiling windows and we get a stunning view of the Norwegian fjord in the background and what I like here as you can see it's quite high up so that really represents that the house is up in the mountainside so I think that's very cool and you can see we have this rustic style with the wooden roof and stuff so yeah I was just super happy with how this turned out and I can really see architects and other interior designers really starting to implement this in their workflow right but now let's move over for the full house tour okay so when you come into the house right you come in here to the road and you park up here on the exterior of the house so here you can see this is like the wood side of the house and it's like inside the mountain here and if we go back here now you can see we can go into the entrance and we can click on that and here you can see an image of how the entrance should look like we see we keep this rustic style right all over the place and you can see the woods outside some of the mountain and I think this really suits the style that we already started at. Then we are heading into the mountain, right? And we are up on this cave. Sorry about that. And if you click the cave hallway here, you can see how the mountain has been drilled out. And we have this nice walkway here inside the mountain with some lights and yeah, stuff. So I thought that turned out pretty cool. And you can see there's quite a long hallway. And then we turn into the cave Let's say we can go to the cave bedroom here. So this is like the very, they have plants and stuff in here. And I thought it was quite cool. And then we have this main cave bathroom. We have this, I don't know if it's kind of a hot tub here. And we have this mirror, the door. There's no windows, right? Uh, it's really lit up. So I thought that was quite cool. And then we can move over here to the, let's say the cave living room. Again, it's, see how good it's keeping the same style with the plants and everything and the rustic furniture. Basically, it was just change out living room to bedroom and it kept the perfect the same style. Again, no windows. And we have the cave gaming room. So here I kind of changed it up a bit. I used RGB light instead of the other light source and this looks quite uh, interesting right you can see we have these three screens here we have yeah the gaming pc and the speakers yeah awesome okay so you can see on the map here that we have this dock entrance and dock stairs i think we're gonna go there last so now we can move over to the main house and if you come in here we go to the main kitchen Again, we keep the same rustic style and we have this nice view over the fjord. So yeah, so this turned out pretty good. And we can go to the main living room. Same style here. I think actually the, the ceiling and the floor is basically almost the same. So yeah, I thought this was nice. And we have the main bathroom. I think this was maybe a bit... Would you have the hot tub here or the bathtub here? I guess there's not a lot of people outside, but still. I guess the view is nice, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I love the big windows, the floor to ceiling windows. <laughs> that was nice. And finally, on this house, we just have the main house bedroom. I can wake up to this, right? You can see we are quite high up and you can see the mountain outside here. And yeah, what a view that is to wake up to. Then we move over here, you can see we have the dock entrance and the dock stairs. So I struggle a bit with this dock stairs here, you can see I tried to make it look like you came down this tunnel and down these stairs. I guess it turned out pretty cool, right? It's not that bad. Uh, and finally you come down to the dock here where, uh, yeah, you have this dock side down by the fjord and things. This is a perfect transition because I wanted to show off this technique that you can take there's no boat here right it's not gonna be 100 percent but you can if i wanted to add a boat here now i tried to use this function these techniques to do that so let's just head over and see how i tried to do that over here at mid journey how i'm gonna do this is i'm just gonna take the i created this rib boat that i kind of like and i'm gonna take that image and the 
dock side image and just place it over here. Then we are going to upload these images to the Discord or the Mid Journey bot, right? What are we going to do now is just type slash imagine, right? And we're going to click on the image, copy URL, just paste in there, right? And we're going to take the image of the boat copy url and paste that after make sure you have a small space here and then i'm just gonna go rib boat on the dock ar 169 q2 and see what happens and as you can see here this is not 100 percent far from it but uh, it's not too bad right you can clearly see the rib boat here you can see we have the dock here and if you slide over here i think maybe this was the best one this was a miss because there's no dock I guess they put a dock inside the boat. That was a bit funny. This is not 100% yet, but it's worth giving it a shot, right? If you kind of need to implement one thing into another, I would give this a shot. Uh, I'm going to show you one more technique you can try to use if you want to do this. So that is just using a function called blend. So instead of going slash imagine, you just go slash blend. And here you can drop two files. So I'm just going to go here. And I'm gonna try to change the car outside. You remember this image of the car here outside? So I'm gonna drop that in. And I have an image of, uh, let's see here, of a new car here, like the, this one. So let's try to blend these images and see what happens. Uh, you can also, sh if you click on here, you get up dimensions. You can click that and I want it in landscape. And then I'm just going to hit enter. Okay, so you can see here that uh, Mid Journey now has tried to blend these two images together, right? But I think it loses a lot of photorealism. So if we compare this, I guess this one was the best one. If we look at this, you can clearly see that... Uh, the photorealism is kind of gone, but I think it did a good job on integrating the, both the car and uh, the former image of the house. Uh, I guess it loses some context, but uh, I think this is kind of a new feature and you can see maybe if this improves in the future. There's always in-painting and stuff you can use too, but I just thought it was uh, quite interesting. So I hope this video gave you some inspiration to go explore what you can design with combining GPT-4 and Mid Journey. And if you want the text I use to prime GPT-4 to get those uh, crystal clear images, check out the link in the description below and sign up for my newsletter. When you sign up there, you can get a PDF you can download. Don't use the pop-up, just use the page down below. Also, check out this video up here if you enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.